Hello everybody, this is Yuriko back with another part to episode 4. Now I think I finally know what's going on here. And, um, yeah. Let's get back to the party, baby. Let's get past that thing and rewind. And look, everything's just fine. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. You can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be sick. I hear you, Dana, but I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich and a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I remember? Victoria, your picture. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to... Push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. 
Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Mm. Here we go. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at the party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around him. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious notes, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything that you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win if you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. Oh, Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see him serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. What a twit. Okay, I try. She's not gonna believe me over her Vortex Club partner. So wrong. So wrong. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Yeah. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker room. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over this, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, 
It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Damn it. Not good, not good, not good. Really not good. Hurry, 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 hurry. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Whoosh. Oh. Sorry. I know we I should be looking for a I swear. Over here, quick. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh my God. Oh, no. Oh shit. Chloe, look how, what the fuck? Oh my god. No. What the fuck is going on? Oh no fucking way. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the end of episode four. Oh my god. Woohoo! Yeah, um, trust me, I'm gonna be on it, you guys, to be finishing this damn story. This is unfreaking real. Oh. Well, there you have it. 44% refuse Chloe's qu uh, request. You stopped Warren from beating up Nathan. 67%. No one got hurt. Uh, 23%. Victoria didn't believe your warning. That's fine. Okay, you saved the Blue Jay. Oh, there was a bird's nest? I didn't know that.
get Davy's files another way. Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Seventy percent didn't motivate David or Daniel. Sorry. You didn't leave a message on Warren's slate. Thirty-three <laughs> percent figured out Nathan's pin code. Yeah, I'm one of the 67% that said fuck it. And I helped Alyssa. Oh my god. Here we go. Please stay tuned for the next part, which would be the beginning of episode five. Holy crap. Yeah, that's some real twister stuff there, isn't it? No pun intended, that's for sure. Holy crow, that's messed up. So, yeah, um, like, share, and subscribe, and all that jazz, and hopefully I'll be over it by the time the next episode airs, which I highly doubt I will be. So, yeah, um, on that note, peace out, babies.